Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Danny James and today we have an Adobe After Effects CC tutorial on how to track footage to a green screen footage too. So I have an example here on my project panel. It's basically two people looking at a tablet which has a green screen picture on it. So I have an endpoint right here and this is where you click to have an endpoint and right here at eight seconds i also have established an out point so to drag and drop this we won't do it just like we do on adobe premiere pro instead having done this just go to your project panel and drag and drop this footage and here it is it's an eight it's a five second thing next thing we want to do is we want to go to a tracker and if you cannot find this tracker tab just go to windows and make sure track is enabled so right now we cannot see these options because we haven't clicked on a layer and what we want to do is we want to track motion and the type of motion we want to track is a transform if you feel like whatever we'll be adding will need to be more precise we shall add our rotation and scale attributes onto them this will in turn make sure that it gives us two tracking points so i can make this layer bigger and i can zoom in and to select the tracking points we need to go for areas we, whereby we have areas whereby we have a contrast somewhere like this black and white so i'm going to take all of this and take it somewhere here and let me do the same for the second tracking point i'm going to do the same for the second tracking point and i'm going to place it right there the last thing we want to do is we want to analyze let's click analyze going forward and let's see That was pretty much easy the computer did really did a good work with tracking this footage from the first seconds to the fifth second so the next thing you want to do you want to right click right here and add a new null object i'll talk about the null object in a few so which takes us back to editing the target where do you want these tracking points to go let's edit target and let's take everything to this null object click on apply and click on ok and you see uh, the tracking points that were taken have been put on our null object so a null object what basically is it's somewhere whereby we can place things like tracking information and other things so it's basically a null object it has nothing it's not a black solid it's not a camera it's not a shape layer it's not an adjustment layer but it's just a blank space whereby you can paste information so if we go back for to this layer which are the green elements let's delete the tracker information on it what we also want to do is we want to go to our effects and presets and if you cannot find effects and presets go to window and make sure effects and presets is enabled so look for a color key for color key and let's drag and drop it on our layer on these effect controls we can select the color that we want to key out in this case it's the green and i'm going to increase the tolerance so that it does a good job with making a selection out of it so our tolerance seems to be good uh, i'm going to make a small adjustment i'm going to increase the edge thinning somewhere about there that looks good now we, we are done king out and it's now a blank space within the tablet so the next thing you want to do uh, let me collapse everything here by pressing you we want to bring our next footage that we want to place right beneath in this case i'll go with this footage i've already established an in and an out point again i showed you you just click on right here to set an in point and go further ahead and place an out point and again you're going to drag and drop it right there now the good thing that we did or that you should always that you should anticipate when trying to do this make sure this layer comes right beneath it right now we're going to press s to bring our scaling and we'll be able to position this thing very well and i also want to enable this layer to become a 3d layer so that we can also have a z axis right like that what it does it gives us an y axis x axis and a z axis if i'm to zoom closely this is the z axis you can find it and if we take it up or down you can decide the depth of the video on this item and uh, the x axis is just a normal axis let me adjust the rotation for this So one of the things that you can notice is that Adobe After Effects is trying to tell me is trying to tell me that this video is this big from this place to this place to this place to this place. We're going to make that adjustment later on, but for now we want to track this footage to the tablet. And how we're going to do that is that we're going to
yes now as you can see we've been able to parent this null object to our footage right below and it goes together with this clip which is really good so i'm going to press you once again to collapse this and this is what you now have if i play it back we have been able to track the footage onto a green screen and to eliminate the green screen i hope you learned something from this tutorial i hope to see you in the next video peace